All right. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So on the left side of the dog, we'll have two patches. So we need to shave two spots. The spots, again, they just need to hold the electrode. So it's about one and a half clipper blades. We usually just do a little square. And you'll do one. You can feel their heart. You can see their heart. They're so thin. So feel their heart beat. We'll want one patch down here by the sternum. And then one patch a little bit higher, kind of right above the point of the elbow. That's where we're going to go. It's good to put them far enough behind the elbow so if they go to lay down, their elbows aren't hitting against the patches. Good boy. Nice good boy. Mm -hmm. So there's one patch. And the patches. They don't need to be in a perfect alignment, they just can't be touching each other. Let me get a close up of that. Okay. Do you want to do the other side? Are you comfortable with the other side? Sure. Okay. Just tell you where Same thing on the other side. You're just going to feel where you can feel Phoenix's heart. Excuse you. Feel if you can feel his heart and then do a similar patch. You just want to make sure it's not too close to his elbow. Okay. That's perfect. Lovely. Perfect. Well done. All right. Now we have our leads already connected to our electrodes, which makes this part a little bit easier. So the green lead goes on the right side of the dog. So I try to keep these leads as untangled as possible. And then we're just going to peel it off. From, can I ask you to hold that for me? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Red. Excuse me. The red electrode goes on the right side of the dog. I'm American, so I do everything in the American way. Um, the red lead goes on the right side of the dog, so I just peeled it off of the sticky. There's a little bit of gel for contact already there. You can just remember red on right. Red on right. I like that. R on R. And then that just needs to make contact with the skin. Okay, so just gentle pressure, and that's attached. If the skin is dirty, they don't stick as well. So sometimes it's good if you've got a little bit of alcohol or just a little bit of soap and water, just wipe that spot down, but make sure it's very dry before you try to put anything on it because water or dirt will prevent them from sticking. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I have to go. Yellow is on top and then green is on the bottom. So grass is on the ground, green is on the bottom. Yellow. Put green on the bottom. And then you'll notice that they don't necessarily stick 100%. So again, having a nice clean surface helps that. And then we will put a layer of vet wrap around these to make sure that they stick. If you can hold that for me, that's great. So vet wrap, um, Elasticon's a little bit rough, but uh, Tensilon also can be a little bit harder on the skin. But what we're gonna do is just gonna wrap Sorry, can you wrap this around? Oh, can you, can you hold that for me? Just right here where my hand is, thank you. It's fresh out of the package, so it's okay. And we don't want this to be too tight, just want it to make contact with the pads. So we want him to be able to be comfortable and not feel like he has a 18th century corset on. And this stuff will rip, but not always very evenly, like as seen here. It sticks to itself, but not to the fur, which is nice. And then what we can do to make sure we have good contact is that we'll ask you if the patient's ID is written on the label. You say yes, and then it'll show the recording. So we'll make sure that we have reasonable contact. So there is my lead to ECG which I can see there's actual QRS complexes. QRS complexes look a little bit upside down. That's okay, because again, we're going for rhythm here more than anything else. I can change the channel by going up and down on the channels there. And so I have our ECG there. If it looks really blurry, like some of these channels do, that's a contact issue. So using a little bit of the gel will be helpful to eliminate that. 
so that'll be a little bit cleaner of a line. Okay, so it's recording all three channels. I hit the green button and I say start now, and then it'll start the recording and it's for 24 hours. Okay. I'm gonna say start now, and then it's recording. So it has the time on there, and we can adjust the time so those are correct. Okay. And that's it. Then what we'll do is we'll put the final vest on. So if you could hold that again for me, please. These are the Holter vests. They're black, so there's a little bit hard to see, I'm sure, in the darker lighting, but they're two feet holes. So what we'll do is we'll put the two feet holes down on the bottom, and then I usually just ask them one by one to step in. So we'll lift this foot first, Phoenix. Great. And then we'll lift this foot second. Great. And then we'll shimmy that up the chest. These vests have an actual pocket for that Holter monitor to go in. So I usually just bring this Holter monitor through and then they can slide inside here. And that just sits there. You don't need to do anything with that monitor once it's on and connected. And these are very similar to Thunder shirts if you've ever experienced a Thunder shirt. So there's one flap that goes first. There's Velcro on every side. I'll let everyone come over here. Velcro on all the sides. They're stretchy Velcro. And this is the final flap that comes over the very top and tucks everything in. And Phoenix is ready. Good job. <laughs> Good job.